against a black boxer and that sells tickets sports and sports becomes this tremendously important symbolic space about racial justice about ideas of equality and about a place where you can showcase an excellence in a public sphere that cannot be denied boxing which begrudgingly let jack johnson fight for the heavyweight championship of the world in 1908, which he did successfully, and then again in 1910, most pointedly against the great white champion, Jim Jeffries. After his reign, they refused to let another black man fight for that title until the 1930s. First race riots in America after Reconstruction were over Jack Johnson's 1910 fight in Nevada. Race riots all the way back to Chicago. When people found out that Jack Johnson won this fight and beat the great white hope, people died. A politics of representation, this idea that you assume a political representation just because of the color of your skin, burden and blessings. I reclaim my real culture, and that's being a black man, and one of a black man with a black body, not a white man. Sure, powerful, powerful moments. It speaks to how strong sports is in our society, and how many people it can influence. Sweet potatoes and green beans and 
looks very good, so I'm going to go ahead and partake of that right now. enslaved Africans were shipped to the Americas. Close to 400,000 of them were brought to North America. Europeans built an economy based on slavery and the New World plantation system. To make vast profits from the global demand for sugar, rice, tobacco, and coffee, they invested in slave labor to clear land grow crops, and to provide a luxurious lifestyle. Regardless of the moral issue of enslaving another human. Olada. They examine you just like they do a horse. They look at your teeth and pull your eyelids back and look at your eyes. Feel you, just like you was a hoax. More slaves was getting born than died. Old Master see to that himself. He breeds the niggas as quick as he can.
Watch out, Hannah. 